The president cites a chain of public servants who aid corruption using their officers. He says the vice starts from the chief administrative officers, permanent secretaries, among others, as the main culprits. Accounting officers and auditors. Two people. So when you hear that money has been stolen, So I'm glad that I've never seen internal auditors, I've not seen you. <laughs> Excuse us, the, the politician forced me to do, what should you force you to do? What is not correct? Don't accept, because the law protects you. The president of the Institute of Internal Auditors in Uganda, Fixon Okonye, says despite the presence of numerous supporting laws, such as the Public Finance Act, some government agencies are yet to embrace values and usefulness of internal audit. Our prayer is that you continue supporting the growth of internal audit profession in Uganda by directing that all government entities and private entities with public interest must have internal audit function, which is fully operational and resourced. And that, that internal audit must be in line with international best practices. Finance Minister Matea Kasaja has assured auditors of financial support towards building the capacity of government agencies and parastatals in the development of internal audit practices. I will ensure that all government ministers, departments, local governments and agencies are properly staffed and adequately funded to enable them to deliver their mandate, money being available. <laughs> Mark that. Funds being available. <laughs> Last and sum, I will support the development of internal audit profession in Uganda. The conference brought together audit professionals, board audit committees, risk managers, corporate governance practitioners, economists, bankers, consultants and accountants under the theme Inspiring the Future.